in this video, I'm going to take a really trivial example where I'm going to ask the user to enter to enter uh, two strings and I'm going to just concatenate the two strings together in Haskell. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three three slightly different uh, different approaches of doing the of doing the same same problem. So um, so this is we're looking at uh, some kind of a use case now where we can start putting our ideas of monads together. And um, what I would like to do is um, let's just create our uh, type signature. So let's say I have uh, I have something called concatenate, concatenate, and it has a signature, a type signature of uh, of let's say I O string. Now. This may be a little bit obvious if you have watched my previous videos that I have this side effect here. I have this side effect here, which is represented via the I/O monad, and um, and what I try to do is, I, uh, as uh, as I'm as I'm maybe trying to concatenate my strings together, I'm going to have a side effect that is represented via this via this I/O monad. Okay, and um, and let's just go ahead and complete uh, complete our. Uh, uh, a first time. Let's 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 have a first a first uh, a first approach of doing this problem. And the first approach of doing this problem is a very very typical approach that you may have seen in many introductory uh, videos on monads and uh, on on uh, on Haskell is that I could uh, I could define this I could define this as uh, as follows. So I have my concatenate, and um, I'm going to implement this because I'm dealing with a monadic a monadic value. So let's just use the do block, and uh, by using the do block, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to invoke the method the method get line in Haskell, and the method get line in Haskell is defined as follows. So the get line method in Haskell is defined as I O I O string. So I can do this as saying do my, my do block and um, I can now take the idea of using the bind operator and by using the bind operator I'm just trying to tear apart I'm just trying to tear apart the side effect the side effect from the pure value from the string here. So I'm just trying to tear apart both these entities and by tearing them apart I'm just going to use the 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 bind operator and by using the bind operator I'm going to say get line, and uh, let's say that's my first string value x. X. So remember again, just if I were to be consistent with my types here, get line. The type of get line is is I O string, and uh, by using the bind operator now. I'm not explicitly invoking the bind operator here because I'm using it within the do block. But uh, what has happened here is I have separated I have separated out the side effect where the type of x is now just a string. Okay, so here I'm asking the user. I'm doing some 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 I/O operation. I'm asking the user to enter a string, and then I'm separating out the 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 monadic expression. I'm tearing apart the monadic expression. I'm just getting the string string out here. Likewise, I would like to do this one more time because I would like to concatenate two strings together. So I'm going to do this operation one more time, but I'm going to say get line, get line, and um, let's get the second string, second string wire. Okay. Now, because this is a monadic expression, my my output is uh, the type of this entire concatenate is an IO string. So at some point, I can do I can do x concatenate this x which is just a string by calling the plus operator plus plus operator and um, this has concatenated the two strings together but again x plus plus y is nothing but just a string this piece is nothing but just a string the type of this is just a string so I'm going to finally wrap the entire piece I'm just going to wrap the entire piece back in my return statement in my return statement so that I can get the entire thing, the entire piece over here, as an IO, IO string. Now, 
what's so let's just let's just look up just think about this problem once more what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to i have this method at my disposal i have the concatenate method at my disposal plus plus and plus plus is something that works basically on concatenating on concatenating two strings it doesn't work on concatenating two io strings so so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to I'm trying to separate I'm trying to separate my monadic expressions by getting the just a string out in the first case and I'm trying to do this, again the second operation exactly identical to the previous operation by getting the string out because only when I have the strings out here I can perform the concatenation on this on this uh, method plus plus here and once I have the actual string concatenated together I'm going to I'm going to do the return statement to to to, to get back the type of IO string for my concatenated Obedia. Okay, so these are some typical operations um, that you might actually deal with on a very, very daily basis because sometimes you're actually talking to the outside world and when you talk to the outside world, you have these side effects that may be present in the outside world because the outside world may be impure and because it's impure, you have these, you have these um, uh, impurity that might be present in the outside world and um, you're using this kind of this imperative style of programming where you're trying to separate the purity out from the impurity and once you get the purity out, which is this, these two string parameters that we actually need, I can use a pure Haskell function such as the concatenate operator to, to concatenate the two strings out. So maybe this is this is fine, this is good, this this might look like a decent, decent style of programming, but but maybe there's one more you could you could have a slightly improved improved version of this thing. And um, to look at a slightly improved version of this uh, of this uh, of the same program, um, uh, we, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the uh, uh, fmap. I'm going to go to follow that up with by using an applicative functor. And then finally, I'm going to use a lift a lift method to show you how I can do this um, using the third style. So these other videos will be will be coming up in my in my next batch.